Hi everyone, my name is Erin Elizabeth Wernberg. Thank you so much for choosing to be here with me today. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you are new here. Today we're talking about the power of not reacting. So this can be a little bit of a layered topic, so just take what resonates for you as always. But my purpose in creating this video is it took me a long time to learn that there's so many things that we're taught to react to that don't uh, actually serve us. And there's so many things. Um, it's like these more subtle ways that our energy is used against us and that we just kind of don't control ourselves and that we can just give away so much of our personal power and just be out of so out of such energetic alignment because we're focused on reacting to all these things that don't actually matter. So when I was thinking about this concept, I was using, thinking about the phrase, if you ever heard it, the ego speaks first and speaks loudest. And so from here, you know, our ego is the part of us that wants to separate, wants to attack, wants us to be right, wants someone else to be wrong, wants there to be, um, you know, power or less than, better than, all of that. And so if, if we can understand that and understand so many of the things we're reacting to, feeds our ego, feeds our need to be right, feeds our desire to be right, um, feeds our victim story about ourselves, all of that. But if we just don't respond and either just ignore it completely or wait a little bit until we respond, sometimes we can forget it even happened. So this can be a, the difference between like reacting and responding. Um, and so how there's so many times where something happens, we feel justified in our anger and our outrage about it. And there definitely is, of course, righteous anger, which I'm going to get to at the end of the video. So I'm not telling anyone ever to be a doormat, to not have limits, not have boundaries, no way. But this is just more about um, if we, most of us are socialized into chronic reacting and just losing control of ourselves and just reacting to things where we just like kind of leave our body and we're just immediately zero to 100. And it's just really intense for reasons that don't need to be. Um, so a lot of times, you know, this could be something where someone cuts you off in traffic or there's someone who like makes a comment in front of you in the grocery store or you know someone's doing something in a way that you wouldn't be doing it in that way and then we want to react and control them or respond to them or whatever and so sometimes our need to do this can come from like it can come from a lot of things but one of them can be like if your boundaries were crossed as a child maybe you didn't have a lot of boundaries you weren't allowed to have boundaries and so like as a way to survive you had to be very loud and intense and um kind of like pushy with your boundaries um and just be like hello i'm here this is what my boundaries are right so that can be an old pattern from that um it can be maybe this is the only way you feel heard it could be um, you know, any a lot of wounding th this happens. And there's so many things as adults that we don't realize are manifestations of things we carried in childhood, but this can be one of them. Another one could just be, you know, you're having a bad day, an off day, you're not energetically lined up, and then you kind of project out this way. Um, and then lastly, we also live in a culture now that <laughs> the internet is everywhere and people have so much access to a lot of the same content on the internet, on TV shows um reality tv especially right but we live in a culture where like fighting or having the best insult or the best comeback or the best revenge or whatever is like praised and celebrated and those things go viral or it's the most viewed thing or that's what wins awards and so we're programmed that this type of like reacting is really normal and is actually like really encouraged and so if if something like that happens for example or let's say like all of your friends um went on a trip and they didn't invite you and so you want to you write up this huge long text to just write this paragraph about how you hate them all and they're so mean to you and whatever or like your friend doesn't respond to your text right away and so you you know immediately go into this story of like well they they don't deserve me and i'm gonna block them and whatever all this stuff and so instead of and that can be a lot of moments where again we get reacted and we want to react instead of and that's coming from a place of our wounding you know so maybe you have abandonment issues maybe you have um this and this is no judgment, okay? I have to work on this too, right? Maybe you have issues where you think, oh, people are always out to against you or uh, against you, or they have um, ill will for you or anything like this. And so when you can control yourself and in that moment, ask yourself like, is it worth it for me to react right now in this moment? Or am I just trying to be right? Am I just trying to get ego validation? Am I just trying to prove something about myself to myself, right? Because like I said in the beginning, you know, sometimes we cannot react and then an hour goes by or it's the next day or we see our friends later or whatever. And we realize the situation isn't what we thought it was at all or we forgot it even happened, right? So just think about the energetic difference of, 
um, you know, someone does something and you react to it and then they hook back into that and then you're going back and forth and then it's like three hours of your day and your energetic energy, energetic energy, okay. Then your energy, your energetic field is just totally up and down and out of control and just like insane. And it's like, was that worth it? Like, was that worth you being right? Was that worth, you know, all this? And sometimes the answer is yes, okay. But this is just to remember that we can have so much more peace when we give up our desire to be right about everything. And it doesn't mean that like you're not right. It's just, you don't need to prove to other people that you're right. You don't need, not everything needs your energy. Not everything needs you responding to it, reacting to it, to put your two cents into it, right? Not everything is necessary on that level, but we've just been so, we, a lot of us don't have, we have to work at having energetic boundaries of like, is this actually worth it for me to fight, right? Is this, if you're, someone cuts you off in traffic, it's like, okay, well, do you internalize their action and then take it personally and then be like, okay, well, I need to stand up for myself and now I'm going to flag them down and we're going to fight in the street and it's going to be an hour of my time. I'm going to be really stressed out, you know, all this stuff. It's like things just can escalate so much. And so the power of not reacting is thinking about the ways that how powerful it is to just be like, okay, this is actually not where I want to put my energy. This isn't where I want to fight. Maybe you have a certain family member um, or a friend or a coworker or something where they know how to push your buttons exactly. And maybe you like take the bait every time. And so, and again, it's not your job if people, it's not your fault if people act like that. But if you become conscious enough that they're doing that, then it is up to you to not react into that anymore. And so just think about, again, how many times you can just work yourself up emotionally like, oh my God, I can't believe this person did that to me again. And it's like, yeah, I mean, that's messed up and they shouldn't be doing that. But it's also about what are you doing within yourself to not react to that, right? If you set a boundary with them, if this is someone you have to continue interacting with, right? It's like, do you need to fight with them every single time? Because some people love fighting. Some people love the emotional, energetic exchange of it. Like it's, it feels really good for them. And if you are someone who does not like to spend their time doing that, like me, <laughs> this is just thinking about that and thinking about why do I feel that need to react to all of this? Why do I feel the need to put my energy into all of this? Why do I feel the need to prove to someone I'm right? I have to be right. I have to be right. Um, and so again, just thinking about the ways that, you know, am I doing this from a place of like, I feel intentionally, um, this feels like clean energy for me to respond to this? Or am I just reacting because like I'm out of balance? I didn't take a moment to check in with myself and I'm just reacting because I want to fight or this is like a pattern for me. Um, and so, like I said in the beginning, as usual, I never, ever, ever condone anyone um, like becoming a doormat or being walked all over or not having limits or boundaries. It's definitely, we all need all of that. So in no way am I saying like, don't stand up for yourself. Don't say no, don't have limits. Of course not. Um, but this is just to re-examine like uh, the ways we react and that maybe there's particular people, particular situations, particular things that really like we are really like trigger touch point for us. And we just kind of like react in that way. And so it's about being mindful. It's about um, knowing the ways that we can um, kind of manage our own energy more. And this is again, not condoning, um, you know, you just accepting mistreatment you don't like, right? There can, there's a way to set a boundary or say, no, you can't do that to me or have a limit that maybe isn't as explosive or whatever. And some of that can be like, maybe you peacefully set the boundary and someone has a response to it. And then you have a response to that response or you're reacting to that response or, you know, like they call you a name because you set a boundary. So this isn't um, for you to not have limits, not have boundaries, and none of that, of course, but this is just about, you know, making making sure you're examining, am I responding in this moment or am I reacting? Am I like coming from a place of this is a limit I need to set for myself and it feels right for me? Or is this coming from a place of, you know, this is something that I'm just going to do this so I get an ego hit so I feel better about myself. It's about being really honest with yourself, being really accountable, and also, you know, picking your battles. There's some things like there's so many times where I'm like, wow, I could have reacted to that thing in the moment. And then an hour later I get home and I'm like, I don't even remember that that happened. You know, it wasn't even like that big of a deal, but in the moment it felt like I absolutely have to react to this. So this, it can also can be just about taking space and, um, you know, letting emotion settle before you respond from that like immediate um, reactionary energy. And so again, this is about like picking your battles, showing up for those battles, um, standing up for yourself, of course, again, always condone that. Standing against injustice, of course, always condone that. Um, but this is, again, just kind of 
uh, this is a little more nuanced and looking at the ways that you can hold yourself accountable to these different ways that we're reacting or like getting hooked into cycles of reacting that really drain us and make us feel exhausted that, you know, it's like, are you argue, is there someone who you argue with on text or on the phone, like all the time and you're like, I'm so drained. And what was the point of that? Nothing even happened. Right. It's like this loop of, it feels like nothing's happened and you're just like running against yourself in the wall. You know, that's, that's a good sign to see like, Hey, I, maybe I don't need to be reacting or maybe I don't need to be putting my energy into this in that way. And then the last, last thing I want to say about this is so mostly I've talked about reacting in, you know, reacting in response to other people and their behaviors, but this also can be like reacting to news you receive, to decisions you make, um, you know, just noticing within yourself, again, your own awareness of what, what brings out a big emotional reaction in me and why, um, and just kind of going into those deeper layers of knowing yourself, of healing, of reconnecting to yourself. And it's, again, about noticing like your immediate reactions versus like choosing to intentionally respond, maybe like a next day, two days later, three days later, right? A lot of times we know we're acting from our ego if it's like, I have to say this right now at this exact time at this exact thing or else it's not gonna work. Um, or this isn't like what I meant for myself, right? So this is again, um, just really, it's about being honest within yourself. I can't make the decision for you, only you know what are your limits, what works, what doesn't work, any and all of that. Um, for this. So this is just, again, knowing, but there is power in not reacting to everything. There is power in knowing not everything needs your energy. You don't have to respond to every single thing um, and react to every single thing. And you do have a choice with how much you are showing up or allowing, not allowing, like um, you can't control anyone else also, but you can control, again, is this worth my time effort? Sometimes it is like I'm for that, you know, but there isn't, um, there's, we all can always do our work to understand like, is this, is this particular instance worth my time? Yes or no? Like some things you don't have to respond or react to at all. Sometimes no reaction is the best reaction. But again, there is a time and a place where it is important to stand up for yourself and have boundaries and limits. But this is also, again, about the how of doing it. Okay, that's everything I have for you. I hope this served you. If you ever want any more information about me, all that's linked below. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day.